It is now super easy for you to create your very own vector displacement map. With a brand new tool from the folks at Blender Foundation, which you can totally get for free, you can now start creating your own vector displacement map on the fly. Now, this is something that lots of people asked initially when this was just released. And to see that you now have this is super cool. And how you can create this is very easy. If you go over to the link in the description, it's going to bring you right here where you can download the zip file. Now, once you unzip this, you'll notice you have two folders. If you dive into the very first folder that deals with creating VDMs, you would notice you have an add-on. Now to work with this add-on is as easy as firing up Blender 3.5 and then go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. Now once you install the add-on and you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that you have the VDM brush baker right under the tools panel. Now once you look at that, you would notice that you have a create sculpting plane. If you click on that button automatically, this is going to create the grid and kick you into the sculpting mode. Within the sculpting mode is where you can essentially start doing some sculpting depending on what you like to create. And in this case, we're creating a scar. Now, once you're done creating this, you can now proceed to make this a VDM. This is quite similar to what you have with ZBrush. As for ZBrush, for you to create VDMs as well, you need a simple plane. Now, that plane needs to be of equal size, just like you have with the grid when working with Blender, and you can now sculpt whatever you want and convert that to alpha 3D brushes. Now, with that alpha 3D brush, you can now create VDMs and work with it. We've already covered how you can create VDMs by simply using tools from ZBrush, and that is a video that you can check out once you're done with this one. Now, once we come back into Blender and you're done creating this, what you need to do is to define the name, define the resolution size, and then you can click on render and create VDMs. Now, once you hit on the render create VDMs, you would notice that automatically that this creates something that is super nice in the sense that your brushes automatically switches to the new VDM brush. And in Blender style, what you can now do with this is easy. Instead of going over to the stroke section where you can change this automatically, the stroke gets updated for you. And you'd also notice that within the texture section, the mapping gets updated and vector displacement is set. So from here onwards, you can create the model piece that you want and you can use the scar displacement that we just created on the model. And since we're using Suzanne the monkey, it is pretty easy to see how you can apply this on your model and get good with it. Now, once you're done with that, you can proceed to create another one. And something that you might notice is depending on how many vector displacement brushes that you make, you're going to notice that you have multiple ones. So you can select from any of these ones that you want to work with and you can create and use this over and over again. And for those who are thinking about working with this and probably you like to share this, of course you can. So for you to share this, you need to go for the render section and right within the render section, you need to click on the drop down, and you can select the ones that you want. Now, something that the folks at Blender has actually done with this as well is for every render that you do or for every vector displacement that you do, if you go over to your C drive for those working with Windows and you go to the temp folder, under it, you're going to find an output underscore VDM folder. And right there is where all the VDMs that we've created exist. So you can select all of them from there and export them and use them for anything that you want. Either ways, if you're thinking about exporting this by yourself, then make sure that you export these things as .exr files. And this is the only way that you can use this across various Blender scenes. So for those who are thinking about working with the VDM Brush Baker, this is basically how you get started with it. And for those that are looking for VDM brushes that they can work with, probably you want to get started with brushes that you can use for your sculpting. Then the folks at VK Game Dev have just announced their very first vector displacement maps. And I think more maps are definitely going to be coming as currently they have 26 brushes, which are pretty interesting. And for those who are thinking about creating things with this, of course, you can check them out. They also have tons and tons of brushes that you can work with for those who are thinking about brushes. And it is quite impressive that we just found out that there is this beautiful new add-on that will definitely save you so much time. It's called the Go Panel add-on, and we're probably going to make a video about it for those who like to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. A huge shout out to the folks at Blender Foundation for making this possible and as well attaching a free add-on for everyone to work with. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.